Exactly. All right, so we're going to do hard mode here, guys. We're going to go hard mode. Time to get destroyed. Yes, we're going minions only. You know how we roll. Minions only. Why only minions? To make it a little harder. In hard mode, um, the bad guy, the bad guys, the other, the opponent, uh, they only use dragons, okay, which have uh, an advantage over minions. The dragons will always be stronger than the minions. So if you have a, a dragon tanker and a minion tanker, the dragon tanker is naturally stronger. Uh, we're going to upgrade here, guys. So you always... The way I look at it now, now there is, there has been changes, uh, but as of right now, I like to get my shop up uh, right away and uh, see how this is a dragon. So for those that don't know what's going on here, this is a dragon tanker, okay? And this is a minion tanker. You see the difference? The dragons are better than the minions, uh, but we are doing minions only regardless, so I wouldn't have bought it anyway. So what you want to do for those that don't know what's going on, you see these roars? You see how I highlight, I grab my, my unit and there's that little highlighted area, right? Those are roars, okay? So those are buffs. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to show you guys a little something here, okay? So we're going to we're gonna do this. So you want these roars to touch as many units as it can so this unit is buffing this unit this unit is actually buffing nobody which is fine that's the way it is uh this unit's buffing this unit this unit's buffing this unit and that's how it's going to be so uh we're going to do this for now and what we're going to do here uh let's get rid of this guy and let's upgrade the shop let's try to bounce back here a little bit let's try to bounce back here a little bit and uh and see how we do here let's try to bounce back a little bit so we are trying minions only. As you can see, it's very, very tough. Uh, the dragons always have uh, an advantage over the minions. But we're hoping to, to upgrade our shop fast enough, get our better unit. See, like, this is beautiful. This is what we want to see. So like this and like this, that is absolutely beautiful. Um, we couldn't ask for anything better than that right now. Uh, so here we go. And we could do something like this. Actually, this is a good build. What do you think? Should we go like this? Oops. What do you think? Two, two, and one? What, do, what are we thinking here? Well, first, I'd have six units on... What? What did I do? When did I do that? When did, when did I do that? Oh, my... Oh, my God. Why? When did I do that? Did I take one off? Did I take a unit off? Oh, my... <laughs> what? When did I do that? Oh my, I honestly didn't even realize I did that. I can't even, I can't believe I did that. You saw, oh, okay, there it is. There it is. That is incredible. That is actually, inc I didn't know I did that. That is absolutely incredible. Okay, so um, yes, you should always have, you should always have six units on the board. Let's get that uh, out there. Six units is what you can hold. Uh, make sure you have six units on the board, guys. That is uh, basics 101. Okay. Make sure you have six units on the board. Uh, let's start with that. Okay. Well, there we go. There you go. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. And, and again, I didn't even notice it. I was, I'm so focused on the chat. I didn't even notice it. Okay. So what we're trying to do here. So they have slayers slayers do, uh, they don't have three stars yet. So we're okay for the AOE damage, but, uh, we want to make the, the slayers when they hit the tankers, they're going to basically damage themselves. Um, we're still kind of at a disadvantage here. Uh, we're trying to kind of turn the tables here. Is it going to happen? We don't know. Uh, we're trying, so we still can't upgrade our shop. So I'm actually gonna get a better slayer. And uh, we're going to take out this guy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch things up a little bit here because we do need to do a little bit more damage. We're not doing enough damage on them. So, uh, you know, we're not doing enough damage. We need more damage. Okay, so this is what we're going to do because I like this. So now we have six metal affinity for those that don't know what that is. I'm sure you don't if you're new here. So when you get these affinities, when you get these buffs, okay, they're going to give you a bonus. So you see, I have six of them that are metal affinity on the field. So I get six of six bonus. If I had two of them on the board, I would only get 30 armor to each unit with four uh, metal affinities on the board. I would get 60 armor, but because I have all six of my units as metal affinity, I'm going to get 90 armor. Every unit on the board on our side gets 90 uh, armor, which is, which is good, which is you want that. Okay. So uh, there's different buffs, different affinities. You can split it up. You can go two, two, and two. You can go four and two. You can do whatever you want, okay? So here's the thing. I don't like wasting the fact that I have this gold. I actually can refresh once and buy uh, a unit. So fingers crossed we get something good. Yikes, we did get something good. So what we're going to do here, we're going to sell this. We're going to buy this. We still keep our affinity buff. We've upgraded from a two-star minion to a four-star minion. Our team is actually not looking that bad. 
Now we just got to hope that they don't have three-star Slayers and they're just going to AOE us down. If they do, we're going to split up our team a little bit uh, to kind of prevent that. So even though we have 13 health, if we can survive this round, we're actually in really good shape. I think we're in decent shape. So let's try this again. Okay, they do have three stars. So realistically, I should have split the team up a little bit because uh, they might get absolutely demolished right now. So uh, we're actually, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Okay, we're okay. See, so we've turned the tables a little bit. This is beautiful. I'm actually going to split them up this round. We're in good hands. We have the upper edge, and I'm going to upgrade the shop to five stars. Once we get our shop to five stars, uh, we can start getting five-star minions, which is what you want. You want to get the highest um, uh, set of uh, units, minions, dragons, whatever you can get. So I'm going to upgrade my shop. And see how I have 13 gold here, 13 gold here. I upgrade it. Now you see five stars here. That means I can see five-star units in the shop now. Uh, up until last turn, I could only get up to four-star because that's what it was at. But we're good. We're back in business. And uh, I'm super excited for this. So we're actually going to split it up a little bit. I don't know if we really needed to since we won the last round, but, um, I don't want to risk that. I think, I think this is the play. We're going to try it. Hopefully we don't uh, lose here. Let's see how we do here. So they do have three starred slayers. We have four starred minions. Uh, we're spread out. So they can't AOE us. I think we're in a decent, decent spot here. Um, I'm liking this now for those that are new in here and don't know what's going on with the point system. I'm going to show you something. Okay. So you see how, Oh yeah, we're, we're in good shape here. So you see how the damage is here. We just did 20 damage, which is massive. Okay. That is absolutely huge. How they determine the damage is depending on how many units of yours are still alive at the end of the round. It's the amount of stars that are there. Okay. That, uh, that do the damage to the unit. So I, I don't know exactly which ones were alive. I, I, I have to look, go back and watch it. But if you, if this guy was alive and he had four stars, that's four damage. If this guy was still alive, that's another four damage. This guy was alive. That's another four damage. So it adds up to the uh, surviving units, the amount of stars they have. That's how much damage you do. So here we go. This is a, this is actually really, really good. Uh, this is what we want right now because we have, uh, two five-star minions. We have four stars on the board. So we actually want to just upgrade the minions that we have. This is That is actually huge. That was a really, really good round. A really good shop. They really helped us out here. So now we have two five-star units. We already won with four-star units on the board. I think our, our units are positioned well enough that we can kind of avoid uh, getting killed this round. Uh, see, these are really good. You know, these are actually good to see. Yeah. Uh, Gru would be proud of you. Yes. Take both five stars. Yes. Uh, easy choices, even match affinities. Yes, exactly. So that's the thing. We're getting really lucky with the shop, which is a, which is a thing. Uh, we're getting the right affinities. So we're still getting that armor bonus, which is huge. We have a five star tank, which is nice. It's beefy. We have a five star slayer, which is nice. It does some good damage. Uh, the affinities work out. The stars work out. That was uh, as good as that is what you want right now. What we had in that that shop, that's exactly what we'd be looking for. So we're gonna we got one last refresh. Uh, we're hoping for some five stars. We got none of that. That's fine. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna fight. Basically, this round we can win. Or this this is gonna be a very key round here. Um, we got to see what they get. If they get some four and five stars on there, it could really turn the table. But I think we have this. I think we can actually win it this round. Fingers crossed, guys. Let's see what we just did here. Let's go. So let's see. I think we're in good shape. I think we we actually might take it this round. Uh, we have a really good setup. We upgraded two units. We won last round with, with lesser units. So in theory, we should have this. I think this is a dub here. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to talk too soon, which I might have. Okay. Okay. This is not bad. Okay. This is good. Five damage. That's good. As long as we're surviving, they have 13 hit points left. We have 13 hit points left. It comes down to uh, it's every unit at this point is going to matter. Every single unit we put on the board is very, very important at this moment. You got to take the risks. I'm with you, man. You got to take the risks. I'm, I, I See, now they have four star. This is going to be a lot tougher. This is going to be a lot tougher. Put the Slayer in instead of the... Uh... See, here's the thing. Oh, here we go. We actually might be okay. We might be okay. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. We're still in business, guys. We need two of my units. We need two of my units to survive. That's it. That's all we need. All right. 
That's all we need is the two units to survive and we win. Uh, could be great with that, with all that bleed going out. Does the Warlock have induced pain? Let's look at the Warlock. So, uh, you know, I haven't actually gone over these. I should probably go over these for those that, uh, that don't know what's going on here. Uh, so these are the roars. I'm going to go over these real quick before uh, I keep going, okay? So at the start of the battle, all units roar. Roars apply their effect to units in their range. The way I have this set up right now, because they're minions only, the roars will never touch each other because they only go one square, either ab ab above, behind, to the sides. And because the way I have it set out here, uh, you see how it's just missing everybody. So I have it uh, a different setup where none of the roars are actually touching each other. So, um, you know, it's just the way it is. Okay, so uh, here we have uh, the main skills. The main skill is always used unless the unit has a power skill available. Apply spell mastery and battle hardened scales to self in a random adjacent unit. Uh, adjacent, for those that don't know, is this. So see this unit's right here. Here, I'll, I'll use this unit as an example. This unit right here, adjacent, is this square, this square, this square, and this square. So anything like a T or like a cross, okay? Anything in the corners is non-adjacent. Like this guy is not adjacent. This guy is not adjacent. This is not adjacent, and this is not adjacent. So it's only directly above or beside or below or however you want to look at it, behind, okay? Uh, where am I here? Uh, okay, so we've got uh, Spell Mastery. For each uh, stack of Spell Mastery, the unit gains 50 spell uh, spell casting and 15 physical power. Battle Hardened Scales. I believe the name is changing, correct? Uh, units gain 40 block when Battle Hardened Scales is applied to them. Block is not lost at the start of the unit's turn. And we have Aftershock. At the end of the unit's turn, for each stack of Aftershock on it, Aftershock deals damage equal to 30% of the caster's elemental power. We also have... Induce pain. Induce pain triggers all damage over time effects. Dots, so damage over time. Uh, our bleed, aftershock, and doom uh, can be resisted uh, via the spell casting stat. Okay. 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 Hold on a second. Okay. So here we go. Now, the thing is, here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna say something here. Okay. Is the armor, the extra 30 armor, is that is that what is winning our matches for us right now? We're getting down to one unit, and it's down to the last hit, okay? So is that extra 90 armor, or sorry, extra, uh, extra 30 armor, is that what is keeping us alive? So if I lose, but here's the other thing, though. I could put this guy on, and... Wait, I thought there was two of them. Oh, and this guy. Okay. And then I could buy this guy, but then all my slayers are going to do more damage. So in turn, I'm going to be hitting them harder, but they're going to be hitting me harder. So what? this is one of those situations. Do we, do we continue to play a little more defensive, have that 30 extra armor on our side, or do we lose 30 armor and we gain... Um, an extra 60 physical power that these three would be doing. You know what I mean? Uh, and those slayers will hit it harder also. Tough call. And put the warlock last for the induced pain trigger uh, if you go for it. Yes. So, this is this is the tough call. Uh, warlock Earth 5 star. We're looking at this guy here. Uh, swap for the 4 star slayer, which is here. Make the warlock go last, so slayers apply bleed first and lock. Exactly what? Exactly what? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. You know what? I'm here. I'm here for the people. I'm here for the people. I'm gonna play it that way. Um, I think it is a good call, regardless. I think that is a very, very good call. So we're gonna place it like this. Um, I do like that call. Now, I uh, I'm fifty fifty on it. You know, do I play more defensively like we were? The problem with that is we're relying on the shop. Oh, this is beautiful. This this hurts my my soul to see a five star dragon just sitting there, and I and I'm not gonna buy it. But here's the thing. So, I, I uh, you know, do we play defensively or do we try to flip it and go offensive? We are winning defensively right now, but by doing this, our units are gonna be a little more do more damage. Plus, we put two five stars on the field. So I think I think this is the play. You know what I mean? I think this is the play. Um, here we go. So this is do or die. Either we're going to win here or we're going to lose here. This is this is it. This is this is the moment right now. So 
everyone in the chat, let's think. Let's get our fingers crossed. Let's see some let's goes in the chat. We're trying to get a dub here. Minions only on hard mode, live on the stream. It'll be the first time we do it live on the stream. All right, you guys ready for this? Let's do it. Fingers crossed. Let's go. All right. We're going to slow her down and enjoy the moment. All right. Yeah, we're going to enjoy the moment. What's going to happen? Are we going to win this? Did we make enough changes? Did we make the right changes that are going to give us this win in the end? So we did set it up. We added a fi another five star, uh, but we went nature. We took two metal affinities out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we're up. Okay, we've both lost a unit. We're both down. Oh, we're both down two units. We're both down two units. I'm down three units. They're down three units. We're three and three. Let's see what happens here, guys. This is it. This is the moment. Either we win here or... Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Well, that didn't go as planned. So, oh, we're still in. Okay, 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 okay. We're still in. We have two hit points left. Here's the thing. I'm thinking I put my metal guys back in. I'm thinking we put the metal guys back in. That was close. I'm sweating. I am literally sweating. Okay. Hold on a second. What just happened here? Okay. It's look at are you are you are you sabotaging the win? Stuck is back there just typing. He's changing it all up. All of a sudden they do twice the damage. Uh, they probably increased uh, stars also. Yes. Yes. I'm just joking. I am joking. I am joking. All right. I'm joking. I'm joking. All right. Let's try this again. Let's... Uh, okay. Do we put the four stars back in? This is the problem. So, I, like I was saying earlier, was was the metal affinity... What Was that what was keeping us alive? That extra 30 uh, defense on all our units? Because... The way you got to look, and now I could be wrong. This is how I'm just thinking out loud a little bit here. The longer the units stay alive, the more damage they're doing in return. So if they have that extra 30 defense or armor, and that lets them survive one extra hit, and they're giving that one extra hit back, uh, I think that could really turn the tides, but maybe not. Let's see. Let's hope the shop helps us out a little bit. We're going to go through it once, and uh, fingers crossed, okay? Fingers crossed. And that's the thing, too, is the opponent is still upgrading their shop and units as well. So that could have been the case uh, as well. All right. We need a five-star. Uh, uh, the opposite of that is the faster you kill your en that, that is That is absolutely true. So you, there's two ways to look at it. The faster they die, the less damage they do to you. Uh, the more you survive, the more damage you do. So it does go both ways. You're absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Or we go back to six metal affinity. What do we, what do we do here? Like, do we just, do we just, do you say, you know what, we risk it. Let's just, let's just risk it and uh, let's trust. Because as a community, I think you guys all decided this is what we're gonna do, and we're in this together. You know, it's not like I win, it's we win. So, if what do we want to do? Do we want, do we want to keep the nature in there? This is it, guys. This, this is it. So. We're either going to win or lose here. This is the last round. There's no, this is it. It's us versus them. This is the squad. This is the army. We're going into battle. Are you ready? We are going into battle. This is the moment we've been waiting for, guys. Are we winning or are we losing? All right. You guys ready for this? We got a little ahead of ourselves. We got a little ahead of ourselves last round. You know, we were celebrating. We were, you know, shirts came off. We're spinning them around. And then it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, guys, here we go. This is it. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Do we win as a team or do we lose as a team? Let's go. All right. The moment of truth. A drum roll. All right. Let's see what happens here. Let's go. Come on, minions. You got this. All right, things are looking okay. Things are looking okay right now. Things are good. You know, we're, 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 we're going back and forth. We're going back and forth. I think we got the upper hand right now. The Slayer said, listen, we're, we're smashing away. I like this. We're ready to go. Let's see it. All right. If we could drop those two Slayers in the front pretty quick, I think we're, uh, we're in good business here. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. Everyone relax. 
Okay, one's down. This is not looking too this is not looking too pretty, guys. This is not looking too pretty. This is not looking too pretty. This is looking like we might have taken the L. But you know what, guys? That was a lot of fun. This took a turn, you know? This this took a turn. This, you know, things were going well. We uh, you know, th things were then it just it just took a dive, you know? It's the way it goes. Uh, that was a lot of fun though. Win or lose, it doesn't matter. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I love playing when we actually all play together and we, we bring our minds together. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like, I had fun. Yeah, no, I, I had a lot of fun, honestly. I, I uh, Regardless, win or lose, I love playing the game. I have so much fun playing the game. And, uh, you know, like we were just talking earlier, there's three new classes uh, coming out. There's three new classes coming out uh, very soon. And uh, think of all the think of all the possibilities. Right now, we are doing this with three units. Uh, you know, we have a certain everyone has a certain mindset of how to play it. When those three extra units come in, it's going to be incredible, man. I, I can't wait. Uh, it was uh, it was awesome. And I always, always enjoy the input. I always love hearing the input from everybody in the stream. It's like, do this, try this. And I love theory crafting. I call it theory crafting. It's like, I love when it's like, what if we try this and see what happens? Win, lose, or draw, it's always nice to try new things, see what works, see what doesn't. I love that. So uh, that was a lot of fun.